going to bout number 12, and this is one I'm really excited about. The Louisville kid, this is Bantam Weights. Louisville kid Fred Compton, undefeated, young, early in his career. Great hand speed, loves to punch. Loves, loves to throw punches in bunches, which you like to see, particularly when it's a guy with a lot of hands, hand speed like Compton has. Uh, he'll be facing D. Venable. He's making his D. Venable, making his way into the ring right now. Fred Compton Jr. is making his way to the ring. Get a big reception from the crowd. He has a lot of fans here. He's very popular in the Kentucky area. Coming out of the coming out of Louisville, Kentucky. His trainer Aaron Sheckles was a was a really good fighter himself. Here he comes now. Led by trainer Aaron Sheckles and Fred Compton Jr., up and coming bantamweight. And you might see this guy on the national stage fighting for a world title here in the next few years. All right, bout number 12. It's four rounds. Institution first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's representing Martinsville, Virginia. D. Outlaw Venables. Dave Venables, the outlaw from Martinsville, Virginia. And fighting out of the red corner. He's got four professional victories. Two by way of knockout. He's representing five star boxing. Louisville, Kentucky. Here we are getting ready for Bantam Weights. Fred Compton Jr. out of Louisville, 4 0. Yes, yes, yes. Very impressive young fighter. Fred Compton in the house. Excellent hand speed and throws punches in bunches. Six time Golden Glove champ. Is oh, that right? Um, that Fred, I'm Fred not Compton. sure. About. Yeah, I've been looking forward to seeing this for sure. You and me both. A nice right hand from Compton lands right on the forehead. Compton threw a combination. No, not didn't really land anything. Like when Compton gets where he wants to be, that uh, Venable is tying him up. Compton has all the skills to put somebody away very quickly. He's very, very aggressive right now. Yeah, he looks a little bit tight for some he, reason. He does. He usually does start fast too, though. So. See how it goes. He's kind of seems like he's overrunning his shot sometimes. Like he doesn't, hadn't quite figured out the range yet. But I have no doubt that he will. <laughs>
Compton took a lift to the body. There's a nice left hook that landed. Venable's kind of a slippery southpaw. Somebody's mouthpiece came out again. <laughs> it was Compton. That one wasn't knocked out. It just flew out. Oh, I'm sorry. It was not Compton's. Venable. Yeah, it was Venable's. <clears throat> it was definitely the night of the mouthpieces. Uh, isn't it, though? <laughs> We've had mouthpieces everywhere Ten tonight. Ten seconds to go in the round. Nice feeling out round. Yeah, it was. It's pretty even round. Um, I expect the action to pick up with these two guys, though. I always love to see these guys every time I'm out. At any chance I get it. Usually when I'm in Louisville, I see uh, Shekels and company uh, at the fights. Some really great guys. Great coaches, trainers. We both fought at the same time. We were barely knew each other. We were both in the city of Louisville. We didn't really know each other very good. And at the time when we turned pro, both of us were working in the UPS. So Fred Compton finishes getting instruction from his trainer, Aaron Shekels. And we're starting round number two in the bottom weight Round division. two. Compton and here we go. The, Compton in the black, the black trunks with the sparkly trim on the side. I'm not sure what color you'd call that. It's kind of glittery. And Venable is in the black trunks with the white. What are they the sequins, right? Yes, yeah, sequins. sequins. What did I say? Glitter. Glitter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's glittery. Yeah. Woo! Oh, there's a couple of nice shots. There's a slip. Yep. But, Put his hand down, though. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't from the punch. No. A nice smile. Give him a nice smile. They're back in the center of the ring. Oh, Venable with a nice left hand. Nice right hand from Compton. Coming back with a left hook to the body. Now they're in a clinch against the ropes. Referee breaks them. Compton pressing the action in the corner there. Venable getting a stern talking to from the referee. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, he caught him with his right hand, two right hands, and he 
and a left hook. Probably the best punches of the fight. That's the end of the round. Bantamweight division, Fred Compton Jr., 119 pounds, taking on D. Venable. Second out, seconds out, and we're getting ready to return to action. D. Venable, the black trunks, black trunks with white trim, facing Louisville's Fred Compton Jr. in the black, black and sequin trunks. Oh, there's a nice combination. Compton, Compton come out this round being aggressive. You know, with Compton having such an extensive amateur background, it just translates really nice for him. Mm -hmm. It does. I want to say I've been, I think, I want to think, I think I've called all the last four of his fights. He's always fun to watch. It's very Oh yeah, back. he's he's exciting. And he's he's matched up well. This is a good fight for Caught him with this. the left, left hook. Don't you think this is a good fight for him for this early in his career? I mean this is this is a quality fighter he's facing. There's some aggressive. Nice exchange there against the ropes. time I watched him fight he took a cut over his eye and he the heat turned up instantly as soon as his eye got cut oh he, yeah I think he finished the guy within a minute or a minute and a half something I have to go back and look at it again it oh fired, there's a nice it, it shot fired him up there. <laughs> left hand in the body Compton's corner, encouraging him to go forward. Yeah, they they, they want him to press. This. They want him to press the action. They've been they've been hollering for it the whole round. As Coach Aaron Sheckles implores him to keep coming forward. Oh, oh, he walked into a nice straight Whoa. left and snapped his head back. Was that an uppercut or straight hand? A straight left hand. Man, yeah, it, it did. It popped him back. Yes, it did raise his head up. That was a good shot from Venable. The best shot of the fight for him. Oh, absolutely. Coach calling for a double triple to Fred Compton. He just landed a nice hook out of that exchange as uh, Venable was stepping back. And that's and the end of the round. with a good shot there. That, yeah. that was a that was a nice stiff punch. This is a really competitive fight. Nice. I've got yes, I've got definitely. Compton ahead early, but definitely. but it's it's very close and competitive. Action's picking up. Which is what you you always get a lot of action when you've got Fred Compton Jr. in the ring. That's one thing you'll never say is Fred Compton Jr. is is a boring fighter. Cause there, no, not a chance of it's that. Not, it's not happening. I've never it's, seen it. No, I don't think it's in his nature. No. But yeah, after three rounds, I've I've got him in a slight lead, but probably pitching a shutout. 
three to nothing, but every round is close. You know. So Venable can nice easily competitive, knife, yes. Nice competitive fight. Yes. And like I said, Compton Jr., I've got him ahead three rounds to none, but these guys, but these guys so are close. More, more evenly matched than a few exactly. of the fights we've seen tonight. Yes, this is a good matchup. Exciting fight to watch. Woo. See, here comes some of that hand speed now. You're going to start seeing that hand speed turn up. That accuracy start coming into play. Part of what may be hurting Compton a little bit is that he, uh, I don't know, has he faced the southpaw before? You know, because it's a whole different ball game when you get in there with a left-hander. Oh, there's a nice right hand. That's true. I know, you know, just from when I was younger, the first few times I, I fought southpaw fighters, I, I ended up getting yeah, it's, getting it's, cut a couple It's a whole times. different ball game, uh -huh. especially if you if, if you, you don't know how to move. Yeah. If you don't know how to move the other way. You stepping into that power hand, it's a bad night. Mm -hmm. Bad day, however it's going to be. Bad sparring session even, <laughs> you know. And one of the things that uh, you'll hear from every boxing trainer, when you're fighting a southpaw, you need to keep your left foot on the outside of his right foot. Now, that's a lot easier said than done. Sure. <laughs> you know? Yeah, especially once you catch a few good yeah. strikes. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, you can't. It's impossible to keep your left foot outside their right foot at all times. It's just not going to happen. But it won't stop people from telling you to do it. <laughs> Nice left hook by Compton coming out of that exchange. They traded some punches, but as Venable stepped back, he took a left hook for his trouble. That's a good body shot. Compton led with that uh, lead left hand, pushed him back to the rope, scored a couple times there, lost his balance. Ten seconds to go in the round. Venable asked, telling him to meet him in the Ooh. middle. They're right over us here. Oh, they are trading punches. Nice exchange there. It was. Nice exchange. That was a good four round bout. It's a good fight. I'd good like quality good fight. Six. Yes, I agree. Six would have been perfect. Six or eight would have been fine with yeah, me. That six was, would have been perfect. That was a fun. That. that was a fun fight to watch. Because two two more rounds might have decided that one. We might have had a TKO or something. Uh, he finished last his last fight. And Compton Jr. He, uh, you know, this this was a good step up in competition for him. You know, Venable is he's a good quality pro boxer. That was a good contest. Yes, it like was. Like I said, I would have liked seeing two more rounds for that one. That would have been good. I think so, too. I'm going to say Compton Jr. won 40-36. But, uh, of course, we won't know oh, because we don't the know. Oh, back to the last fight, I had to, I had to comment on that. That uh, Torres, they gave him a, a unanimous, unanimous decision. Unanimous decision. I'd, I, I wish they would read the scorecards. That would really help that's what i said because those first several rounds i didn't know what to think of it because there was nothing yeah. significant for the exactly. first the first four rounds were like I dead really, even at I really best. Did. oh okay <laughs> look like right, that red light was on here we go with the decision unanimous decision all for the winner out of the red corner Fred Compton Jr. moves to 5-0. and oh. He had earned that victory.
Steve Venable gave him everything he wanted. It was a good contest. That was good.